the Health Foundation chose to be involved um, uh, as a result of a lunch uh, meeting between myself and the chief uh, of um, the health department at the Bosch Foundation and the chief of the Karem Foundation. And we were meeting as usual in America. And we felt that, uh, isn't it crazy that we always meet in America? And yet there was so much to discuss between us European partners. Uh, so why did we not think of setting up something for leaders in Europe to meet uh, together and foster much more collaboration between each other and chewing over some of the basic issues that affect us all in healthcare and social care? And let's put our minds together. We have been divided by a language for so long, but I think the uh, now with, there are so many more people across Europe who speak English, we can all exchange more readily. And I think now is the time to capitalise on that. Well, what has been really interesting and came out very forcefully this morning is the amount of money that is available in Germany and in Switzerland. Uh, to spend on healthcare and money is just not an issue. The population are satisfied with healthcare, the economies are in surplus, uh, GDP growth is quite healthy, uh, therefore there is no particular burning platform for change. Uh, and also um, in Germany and Switzerland it seems that there's a very plural healthcare system with lots of stakeholders uh, having to negotiate change which makes change more difficult in terms of speed. However, in the UK, our economy is, is doing reasonably well, but because of the financial deficit that we've had as a result of the banking crisis, we've had to make up enormous amounts of public debt, sector debt. And as a result of that, the health system has been squeezed so that no longer are we seeing 4% real terms growth as they are seeing in Germany, but we're seeing less than 1% real terms growth over the decade between 2010 and 2020. And this is a very, very challenging environment. So as a result, we have a burning platform to make significant changes and we have no option. We have to do that, otherwise we will run out of money and the population um, satisfaction with the system will nosedive. So we really have a big impetus for change, which is absent in other countries. Um, on the other hand, they have stability and money. We have less stability and very little money and, and uh, an impetus for change, and a national system, which means that we can do things faster. Well, I'm hoping and imagining that there will be successive waves of leaders um, who are uh, very familiar with European issues, with European health systems, starting off with Germany and Switzerland. It may be after a few years, other countries can, can join and we have a, a, a even more plural discussion. But it would be very nice after five or 10 years that there's a viable group of people across Europe who know each other, regularly meet with each other and have long-standing relations contacts uh, over common issues that are evolving. And that's what I would really like in the way that we currently do have with our American colleagues. It would be nice to have much more of this across Europe.